I thought I would talk about craws today, crawdads. And there are bajillions of crawdads out there when you talk about baits, fishing baits, soft plastic crawdads is what I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to go over what I consider uh, crawdads. Um, now, there's different types of crawdads I'm not going to cover. Um, I'm not going to cover what I call um, beaver style crawdads. This is called the Zoom Z Craw. Great bait, wonderful bait. And there's a lot of baits like this that are beaver style baits. But they call them beavers, they call them creatures, they also call them craws. And you know, it's shaped like a craw. But I'm going to focus on what I would really call, for this video, maybe finesse craws. Or smaller craws, with the exception of maybe one or two. But ones that I don't really look at as flipping baits. To me, this is a flipping bait. You can put it on a big flipping hook and flip and pitch it. And uh, works great for that kind of stuff. But when I talk about craws, finesse craws, I'm really talking about craws that can be used as standalone flipping baits, but they also can be used on a shaky head. They can be used on a Texas rig. They can be used on a Ned rig. They can be used a lot of different ways. Jig trailers, all kinds of things like that. So I got a ton of baits right here and I'm gonna go through, show you this, and this isn't even all of, all, all of them that are out there on the market, but this is just the ones that I have and show you kind of some of the super popular ones. Here's a bait that really never goes out of style very popular. It's by Berkeley, and it's called the Chigger Craw. And this is the four inch version. I think they make a three inch. They might make a five inch version as well. Um, this is a great color, green pumpkin blue flake. Green pumpkin blue flake. And I love these. And these are um, when they come out of the package, look at this, look at the colors on this. It's green pumpkin, but it's got all these blue flakes in there. And this works great. Definitely a crawdad imitator, but the colors also are similar to a bluegill. But when they come out of the package, you can see they're connected here. You can just break those apart, give it more action. If you want less action, you just keep them together. And then it has a couple of pinchers. You can pay, you can tear these off if you uh, have to flip this in really tight cover. But this this size, the four inch, works great as a standalone flipping bait. But it also works as a jig trailer and a really good crawdad bait. Well, this one came out of the package. One of the pinchers are bent, but. There you go, okay. Here's one that's really odd and unique by Missile Baits. Um, and to tell you the truth, this is one I have fished, not a ton, but I have fished it some. And I have not had a ton of luck on this. Now the only way I have fished it though, is on a shaky head and maybe if I Texas rigged it or something else, I'd have more luck. It's the Fuse 4.4 and this color is also green pumpkin blue and it has some blue flake in there interesting thing about the way this thing's shaped is that it's long and skinny and most of these craws are not shaped like this I mean look at this thing <laughs> yeah it's it's also got covered in some slimy stuff so it's slippery but look at the colors on it it's Good color for sure. It's just got two little crawdad pinchers on it. No, I can't see them, but these can be spread out here in the water. But as flimsy as this is, it probably gets a lot of action in the water. Look at that. Um, I can't see you using this as a flipping bait, but 
it is so skinny it would go through anything any kind of cover so maybe you could try it but it's not any bigger than a pencil so uh, like I said I put this on a shaky head and uh, maybe a Texas rig to try that it's called the little critter craw and uh, this color is pumpkin chartreuse and see from the back here these little critter craws are great they make great jig trailers and that's really what I use them more than anything else put it on a jig very cool looking bait let's catch your two pinchers you've got some whiskers or antenna or whatever you call that a couple of little creepy crawly legs same thing you could tear these off if you wanted to but makes really good for a really good jig trailer let me show you another bait that's shaped really similar to this this is made by Eakins and Eakins makes mostly jigs this is called the Eakins finesse craw and this is purple sapphire I'm gonna take this out of the pack and show you and compare it to the other one, but I also wanna show you something cool that the Eakins guys do. Um, so look at this one, purple sapphire. There's times of the year when crawdads are blue or they at least have blue pinchers and when the crawdads are blue, this color works great. Now look at it compared to this one. I mean, it's almost like they copied each other for the most part. I mean, there's a few slight differences, but this one's made by Eakins. This is made by Zoom, two totally different companies. But let me show you something that's cool about the Eakins one. If you get an Eakins jig, which this is an Eakins Pro Spider jig, and they make these with a wire, and a fiber keeper brush guard not keeper but brush guard I like the wire brush guard a lot of people don't like it they want more protection but I think it really helps with the hook sets so interesting thing about this Eakins craw is made specifically to go on the Eakins jigs and in their pack they give you this chart it shows how to rig the bait on the jigs. But if you notice here, it also tells you the type of jig and how many of these rings to bite off or pinch off before you put it on the jig for the best rigging. So see these rings on here? These ribs or rings, you can bite them off and it shortens it and gives you the length that for, fits perfect for the jig. So take for example, uh, the Pro Spider jig. It says, remove four tail segments, four rings. So all you do is count down one, two, three, four, four rings, bite it off. Now I've got a shorter craw, and it now should be able to go perfectly on this bait. Let's see if it does. Now you always need to do your own little bit of measuring before you start to rig a bait on. These Eakins, Eakins jigs have a really nice keeper on there that will hold the bait in place. Now look at that. Compact little profile. And these spider jigs I really like in cold water. But that is a sweet little setup there. 
and I didn't even have to guess. They told me right out of the package. Bite off four rings, or as they call it, four tail segments, and you're good to go. So I kind of like, I like it when a company, you know, says, hey, we'll give you some tips. We will show you what we think you should do. So these are the Ekins, the Ekins Cross. And uh, not a lot of guys use these. So that's another deal. If you're in sort of uh, competition mode, you might want to look at these because not many guys are throwing those. Another craw that's similar in shape, but a little different, is the Gary Yamamoto Fat Baby Craw. And the Fat Baby Craw is not very big. Um, this is watermelon red. It's really watermelon black and red. It kind of looks like a uh, just a plain watermelon red, but it has some black flake in it. Notice how skinny this is. This thing, definitely, you could flip it into tight cover. It's only got two pinchers and just a straight Cinco style body. And these are made just like regular Cinco's. They're gonna tear up on you pretty quick. They're not gonna last long. And of course, the Cinco baits are really expensive. I don't have a price tag on this, but it, they're expensive. They're probably a buck each. This thing was probably $6.99 or something like that. So still a good craw for sure. Um, all right, uh, here's another, I got a couple of others that are, well, here's another one that's kind of similar to this and to this. It's called, it's by Pradco, the Madman Crawdad. Madman Crawdad. And this doesn't have a color printed on it. It looks to me like it's kind of a pumpkin or a peanut butter and jelly maybe. It's brownish. And it's got some blue flake in it. It's small. Look how it compares to this. Pretty tiny. So, you know, maybe a jig trailer is about all you could use this for. <laughs> um, Jean LaRue floating finesse craw. Now, why would you want floating? Uh, and that's one thing, you never should assume that your bait floats. Um, some of them will float others won't and you need to know that sometimes depending upon the technique that you're you're using like for example if you're fishing a shaky head it'd be nice if your pinchers float kind of stick up in the air if you don't know that you might uh, be sorry so this is a watermelon pepper neon and you can see it's been in this package and it's all bent. So that may not be that good. I don't know if this thing would stretch out or if you might have to heat it up to kind of get it to straight. Or maybe just being out of the package, it would straighten. I'm not super impressed with this one, but I've learned just because you're not impressed with it doesn't mean the fish won't be. Sometimes the fish love what you think isn't going to work. And like they say, a lot of times the baits are designed to catch fishermen, not fish. The reality is you don't need 25 different craw dad baits. Uh, but it's fun to have some variety. So once again, it's a small bait compared to the Yamamoto. They're about the same size. I mean, really. Same length. Same shape. But the Yamamoto is fatter. It's got that Cinco style body. This has a flat deal. It kind of has, it also has this groove in here, which is nice because that kind of shows you where to put your hook. 
when you're putting it on the end of a jig or something like that. So that's by Gene LaRue. All right, speaking of floating, Z-Man Elaztec always floats. And this is the TRD Cross or Cross I I don't know how you pronounce it. I would say it's probably Cross. This is uh, just plain old black and blue. But notice what it says down here. It says uh, that this thing floats. It says naturally buoyant, which means it floats. And these are really unique um, because of the material they're made. Now this Elastec material, this plastic, you can't put it in the box with other plastic. If you mix this stuff, it's going to weld together and then melt. So Elastec always has to be kept separate all by itself. Now this is a tiny craw. Put it in front of my face so you can see it. It's tiny compared to this one, which I showed you was tiny before. It's the tiniest of the craws. But it's a lot fatter and it's buoyant. It's going to float. So when you, if you put it on the end of a jig, those pinchers are going to be way up. It's kind of a cool, it's a cool bait. It's unique. So what I would do with this thing is put it on one of the Ned heads. This is a Ned rig shroom, shrooms Ned head. And I would put this on there and I can try to thread this on here. Now these plastics are kind of a pain to thread on. These are last, last tech plastics. But if you use their heads, the hooks are super sharp and they do penetrate into these a little better. But usually you've got to kind of force them on and then you usually need to super glue them into the head in order for it to stay. So let me see if it'll see what it looks like there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking craw. And that would look kind of cool in the water. I don't know. I really like these. I have not fished these, though, so I don't know how effective they are, but I bet they're good because all the Z-Man baits are good. They really are. I mean, they know how to make great baits. Okay, so you got that. Now, here's another interesting craw that's around the same size as... as um, well, I just showed you the Z-Man, but this is made by Bass Magic, and it's buoyant. It floats. It's the Bass Magic Fighting Craw. This is two and a half inches, so it's also really small, and the color is Root Beer Chartreuse Pepper. Okay. Pretty cool. These claws float, and this bait it's hollow. You could for you could put a rattle in this really easy, like a worm rattle. It's really buoyant. Also would make a good jig, a good jig trailer for sure. Not many guys are throwing this thing, this bass magic. So something to keep in mind. Might be something you want to try. Um here's another good one that I really like made by Croco Gator. This is called the Ring Craw, and this color is Green Pumpkin Candy. Check it out. Looks a lot like some of these other craws. Two pinchers, two little feelers, a couple of little legs. This has ribs kind of like a ring fry. Um, so these ribs are one of the marketing things they'll tell you is these ribs are supposed to help displace water. So when it moves through the water, you get a little more 
movement that maybe will attract fish's attention. This was kind of a cool color. You can see, I don't know if this focuses, how well it focuses, but pretty cool. Another crawdad. Um, I'll show you how to, I'll do it on one of these other ones. Um, so that's Croco Gator. Might want to try it. Here's another major brand a lot of you guys have heard of by Strike King, the Rage Tail Baby, Rage Baby Craw. And one thing I like about these guys is they tell you on the back, hey, here's ways to rig, rig your bait right here. How to rig a Rage Shad, Rage Toad, Rage Craw. Rage Chunk. So like the Rage Craw can be fished Texas rig, Carolina rig, weightless, or as a jig trailer. And like on the Shad, it actually even tells you, do it weightless, tail up on a 4 aught to 6 aught wide gap hook. I like it when they give you pointers like that, so you don't have to try to figure it out yourself. and or You can at least start with their suggestion. Now the Rage stuff, if you've never bought one, comes in a packet like this and it also comes with coffee scent I have no idea if that helps catch fish but it smells good fishermen like it <laughs> I like the smell here this one is now this one's different than any of the other craws I showed you because it's got these massive claws and one of the kind of signature patent pending things for rage baits is these claws have a lip on them that's supposed to displace water and that's kind of their claim to fame and if you look at all of the rage baits they all have that that little extra flap and I'm not talking about what's holding these two together I'm talking about right on the end of this you can see there's a an edge there that's made to displace water it's a nice color definitely these things catch fish no question so that's the rage baby craw All right, here's one. If you're only gonna have one crawl, this is the one to buy. The Zoom Speed Craw. This bait is incredibly versatile. It works fantastic as a flipping bait. It works fantastic on a um, Texas rig. It works incredibly well on a um, shaky head. Any way you can think to, to fish this jig trailer, it works great. Now this is white, but it, they come in a million different colors. And it has these little, little sharp, sharp turned pinchers. And I think that's what they mean by ultra vibe because it creates a vibration in the water. If you look at their ultra vibe speed worm, same thing. It's shaped the same way. But it has two pinchers and it has three appendages on each side. You can tear these off if you need to. You can bite these down, bite the rings down. If you're going to put it on a jig, you can flip it, pitch it. So let me just show you on a flipping as a flipping bait. Here's a flipping hook and all you got to do is just rig it on here just like you would any flipping bait. Try not to pull it off since there's no line to hold it, hold it on and then you just take your bait and run it in. Well, I'm going to pull it out. 
There we go. That's what it looks like when it's rigged as a flipping bait. And this is a flip, this is a flipping hook, so straight shank hook with a keeper on it. That will work great like that. Put your bullet weight on there, you're good to go. This is the best one in my opinion. If you can only get one, this is the one to get. It's versatile. It will, you can use it a million different ways. So here's another great thing about zoom baits. There's 12 of these in this package and they're really tough. They're really durable. They'll last you way longer than a lot of these other baits. The only thing that probably lasts longer than something like this are these Z-Man Elastec baits. This one craw probably could catch, I don't know, 50 fish, 100 fish maybe, but not that versatile. When you got this small of a bait, you know, it works good on a Ned rig. You're not going to be able to flip and pitch this on a big flipping hook. I mean, look at this, the flipping hook. And this isn't a massive flipping hook. This is like a four-aught flipping hook. Look at it compared to this bait. I mean, there's just no way it won't work. So, just something to keep in mind. Zoom. Ultra Vibe Spree Speed Craw. That's the ticket. Okay. Here's another Havoc bait, Berkeley bait by um, Berkeley called the Havoc Craw. Or the Rocket Craw by Havoc. Scott Suggs design, and this color is Perfection Green Fleck. It's four inches, so this is a bigger craw. The last couple ones I'm going to show you here are bigger than all these that I've shown you before. So this one definitely much more of a flipping bait rather than a jig trailer although you could bite the ends here and put it on a jig but it's more of a flipping bait you could also put it on a shaky head and I'll bite the end off of it so that I could put it on a shaky head and just show you what that looks like um, you know sometimes they want a really big craw sometimes they want a small craw you kind of have to just play it by ear and let let the fish tell you. You also can tell with water conditions, water temp, clarity, that kind of stuff. It will kind of tell you what to what to throw. But here's a shaky head, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo. on the bottom, shaking along. It's definitely going to, even if this doesn't float, these things kind of stick up on their own. They're, they're pretty stiff. So a lot of appendages, a lot of action on this thing. Might not be bad to try on sometimes. Okay, I'm getting down to, I've only got three left. <clears throat> Okay, Gambler Lures. Here's another great bait company. Gambler Lures is fantastic. They make all kinds of super awesome baits. They're really strong in Florida. Everybody in Florida throws them. But I've done really well on tournaments throwing Gambler baits in places other than Florida, like New York. So I recommend Gambler baits. Now this is the Cricket. The BB Cricket, and this color is called Gold Rush, which is pretty sweet. Let me show you what it looks like. Same thing, typical flipping bait. This is kind of a laminate in that you've got two colors. You can tell each side is very different. This side has more of the green pumpkinish color. This side has more of the gold. And that's called Gold Rush. And it's really, I say green pumpkin on this one side, but it's really more of like a candy craw color. And then more of like a gold fleck on the other side. Sometimes laminates work really well in water. 
or for bass because they look really natural. There's a lot of crawdads and other bait fish and things in the water. They're not all just one solid color. Oftentimes the underbelly is lighter uh, or a different color than the, than, the, than the back of the bait. So this is why laminates tend to work because they've, they give you a natural look, a natural profile. So <clears throat> this is another bait that works uh, really well in all the techniques that I told you about. Let's see, okay, I didn't do the fighting bug. This is a Berkeley fighting bug bait. And this is something that I, I like about these power baits. Uh, they show you a picture of what the thing looks like and then they show you the hook to use. You know, this is just their recommendation. You don't have to use it, but they're saying use a four aught worm hook for this thing and you won't be unhappy. So let's take a look at this. This is Alabama Craw is the color of this. And it is really in shape and size pretty close to the chigger craw that I showed you first. And the chigger craw is made by Berkeley. The, the plastic feels very similar, but this is different. These pinchers are flat and kind of wide. The pinchers on this are really chunky, pretty unique looking. So I've got a four aught worm hook like they suggest on the package, a four aught offset worm hook. And you would rig this the same way. You just put her in, come out. The nice thing is when you come out on the offset, it sits on there really, really nicely. And then you just kind of see where it goes through and poke it through. And you can text pose this or you can just leave the hook point in the bait but that's what it looks like rigged up and this is a cool color it's kind of a laminate like i was talking about before dark on this one side on the back but the belly really light so it's a much more natural looking color and that's called Alabama Craw. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Good deal there. All right. <clears throat> Last one. So we'll see on that. Now this one to me seems kind of gimmicky. I've never fished it so I don't know. Uh, tight Lines UV Baits. Now what makes Tight Lines Baits unique is that they reflect UV light, or they claim that they reflect UV light like real fish do, and who knows if they really do or not. But they say that uh, when the water comes through, uh, when the sunlight comes through the water, fish reflect UV light, and so these baits give you kind of an edge. Well, I don't know if that works or not, to tell you the truth. But <clears throat> this crawdad has whiskers on it. They call it whiskers. They feel like little basically jig silicone rubber jig skirting. This one has kind of black or darker. It's black and blue on the top and then the this other color is I don't know. You can see what it is there. So they've just taken a regular craw and run some skirting through it. And it's kind of hollow. It is hollow. It's got a hole there. So you could put a rattle in there. Maybe that works. I don't know. I've never fished this, so I, I can't tell you. But I thought I'd buy I thought I'd buy this since it's unique so I could show it to you. If you fished it and you think it's awesome, tell me about it. Okay, so, craws, there's tons and tons of craws to choose from. This is just a sample of some of them that you could try. 
craws are essential. They are a critical tool to have in your tackle box, in your tackle bag. So learn how to use them. Get good at fishing with crawdads. If you do it, you're gonna catch more fish. I guarantee you, craws catch more fish. Give it a try.